Good morning and welcome to Aberdeen School. My name is Jamie Lewis Masco and I'm the principal of Aberdeen School. I'm thrilled to see so many of you here visiting our school and I'm very grateful that Vision to Learn is here um, and working with our students. At this time, I would like to invite Superintendent Weatherall Neal up to the podium to share her thoughts about this amazing opportunity. Good morning. I'm going to ask one of my board members to come up with me, Dr. Tony Baker, to come up. We are so happy this morning to officially launch our partnership with Vision to Learn and our Kent County Health Department. What a wonderful opportunity. Thank you, uh, Jamie. Pr Principal, where did Jamie go? Oh, blending in with the kids. Thank you for allowing us to come and hold our press conference here today and for your staff and for the students. Thank you for allowing us to be here. Uh, Dr. Tony Baker is one of my board members. He is with me today, but I just want to thank my other board members who are not present um, today to say thank you on behalf of them. We really appreciate this opportunity. You know, we know that it's very difficult for children who um, are in need of glasses. I was just sharing that my, my kids, my grandkids, I wear glasses, and I lost my glasses, so I know how hard it is when you can't see. I lost them a, a couple months ago, and I've not been able to go and pick any up, but I know that this is a game changer. So imagine, imagine being in school, not having glasses, not being able to see, not having the resources to get those glasses. We know how difficult that is and how difficult, difficult that can be for students. But it's also, also difficult for our staff members to know that you're in need. And so now we will be able to have this barrier removed thanks to our partnership with Vision to Learn. And Aberdeen, this is one school. We are looking to grow this partnership because there are children across the district, across the district that are in need as well. And so I want to say thank you to Vision to Learn. And I want to say thank you to the Kent County Health Department for partnering with us. We appreciate it. The parents appreciate it, and especially my students, they appreciate it. And I'm going to ask Dr. Baker to share our appreciation for what you guys are doing for us. Just a couple words. I heard that there was going to be a unicorn here today, so I wanted to make sure I came to see the unicorn. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and perhaps, and I also want to thank perhaps another unicorn, Brian Ellis, who's a fellow um, tribal member of uh, school board member, former school board member, and I appreciate his uh, efforts to bring this here today. And it's so excited to see people in the community. We, we get challenged all the time with how we help students to learn. And we know that in order for students to learn, we need community members to respond to other uh, concerns that children bring with them. And it's so exciting to have Vision uh, to Learn here um, today, and I'm really excited about it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Baker. And I am going to introduce now the president of Vision to Learn, Ann Hollister. I'm going to ask her to come forward. Morning, everyone. Thank you, Superintendent. So, kids, today we're going to give out the first 20 glasses in, in Grand Rapids. But we really believe there's going to be 3,000 more kids in your school district that also get glasses in the next year. So Vision to Learn is in 12 states, um, and, but my boss, and you all will learn this someday, when your boss says you have to make something happen, you really try, he said, but I want to be in Grand Rapids. I go, okay, he goes, because that's where I grew up. My mom taught, his mom taught here in Grand Rapids schools, he went to Grand Rapids schools, even knew your principal when uh, his brother and sister used to babysit for her. <laughs> it's hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> so it's really special for us to be here. Um, Superintendent, I, I just have to say one thing. Um, we're proud to be in 145 school districts, and uh, we've helped 175,000 kids. But if we had, if every district had staff like Kim in the nursing or John, um, we would have helped a lot more kids around the country. So we also have found you to be, your district to be one of the most uh, technologically sophisticated that we've also dealt with. So we're really impressed by Grand Rapids. <laughs> um, today wouldn't have happened without great broad community support. Some of our friends are here and we're so grateful, Brian, Jason, for, for helping us make this happen. 
and it also takes leadership in the state. I live in LA, but uh, here we um, are led by Colleen Ochoa Peters, who's our state director. There she is, hi Colleen. Um, and Ann Durfee, who's gonna, Durkee, who's gonna run things here in Grand Rapids. And Kara's here to later on is gonna make sure you all not only get new cool glasses, but that they fit, so they're, that they're less likely to uh, you know, break. However, if you lose or break them in the next year, you call us and we'll get, send you another pair, okay? Um, finally, the, part, the, the school district has been fabulous, as I mentioned, but so is the Kent County Health Department. We've worked with Kate from day one. We have um, Joanne Hoganson here today. We also work with health departments around the country, um, but the can-do spirit here in the district and the health department has really made a difference. And I think it means that together we're gonna help a lot more kids. So thank you so much, and I'd like to introduce uh, Joanne Hoganson from the Kent County Health Department. Good morning. We at the Kent County Health Department are committed to helping kids grow up healthy, happy, smart, and thriving. A big part of this, especially as it relates to their education, is their ability to see. We at KCHD have nine full-time technicians who are skilled at screening children for vision deficits. But one of our biggest challenges is helping connect them with resources to get glasses they need after they have had their screening. And our rates have been embarrassingly low. We wish we had done better. But there are a lot of obstacles. Even when children have Medicaid, there are a lot of obstacles to getting those glasses. So our collaboration with VTL fills an important gap in services for some of our most needy children in our, in our county. This collaboration is valuable to us as a health department. It is valuable to the schools, but most importantly, it is valuable to the children. Thank you to the good people of VTL for the vision, the follow-through, the persistence, and the partnership. We appreciate you. Okay, this is the exciting time. So at this time, I'm going to call up the students and um, just share a little bit of information about them and they will receive their glasses. So our first student is Ariana White. She's a fourth grader. She originally, I asked all the kids, tell me a little something special about you. And originally she was just talking about her silky, silky hair that she loves. And today she changed her mind and she wanted me to tell you that she's an incredible cartwheeler. So she's an incredible cartwheeler. This is Ariana White. Our next. Let's see. Oh, love it. Our next student is Briasia White, Ariana's big sister. And Briasia is a fifth grader. And she, like just like her sister, loves her long, curly, beautiful hair. She's new to Aberdeen and has adjusted beautifully to Aberdeen. Corday Woods is a fourth grader. Come on up, Corday. Corday likes to see himself as a born leader. He loves to follow the rules. He prides himself on his cooperative behavior. We like that. <laughs> Fred Charles. Fred Charles is a seventh grader. He is an incredible artist. He's won many um, contests here at Aberdeen. And um, he's a good old kid, and he works very hard at school. Good job, Fred. <laughs> Miss Glorina Floyd, come on up. Glorina is a third grader. 
She said she loves to wear glasses and she's really excited about receiving her new ones. She likes to play on the swings when she's outside. Our next friend is Jack Klein. Jack is in fifth grade. Jack is very good at playing video games. Jack, he explained to me that he likes playing RPGs, which I wasn't sure what that was, but it's role play games and platformers. <laughs> Jaheem Baskin, come on up. Jaheem is a third grader. He loves working with adults. He is a wonderful artist, and his academic strength is math. Christopher Banks, come on up. Christopher is a fourth grader. He loves his family. His mama is his favorite because she is super sweet to him. Nice. <laughs> Xavier Floyd Hill, come on up. Which one is Xavier? Xavier. Xavier is a sixth grader. He likes to watch football. His favorite football player is Odell Beckham. Nice job. Miss Tila Terrell, come on up. Tila is a first grader. Her favorite color is hot pink, and I often call her the hot pink princess, right? <laughs> Tila enjoys making jewelry for her friends and family, and her favorite toy is her baby alive. And look at these and look at pink, pink glasses. All right. Yeah. Good job. Nice color. <laughs> Then we have our friend, Miss Chrislyn, come on up. Chrislyn is a third grader. Chrislyn enjoys doing gymnastics and she knows how to do back bends very well. Let's see. We have Abby Trombley, come on up, Ab. Abby is a first grader at Aberdeen. She knows how to bake. She likes to make strawberry cakes with chocolate frosting. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Jakia Brooks. She is a second grader. Oh. <laughs> Jakia loves LOLs, which I had to ask what they were. LOLs are little dolls that can be unwrapped. LOLs can be animals, dogs, and little or big sisters. 